Well, I have the pleasure of being with Kristen Comella, who is the top stem cell scientist in America. I had the pleasure of meeting her at Radfest last year, um, and she's just an incredible speaker and a real visionary when it comes to moving stem cell treatments forward. But what we're going to do is take her right back to the basics today to tell it, because stem cells are becoming more normal. So let's find out what they do for us. Hi. Yeah, so the concept <laughs> is that every single one of us have stem cells inside our body, and the main purpose of these cells is to maintain and heal tissue where they reside. And so what we have done is taking this to the clinic and actually applied it to patients. So the idea is we can harness stem cells from one location in your body and put them exactly where you might need them in greater numbers. So maybe you have something wrong with your knee, or maybe you've got something systemic going on, or maybe something neurological in your brain. Mm -hmm. um, and as it turns out, fat tissue is one of the most plentiful sources of stem cells inside our body. What a shame, you have to take my fat out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so it's a relatively simple procedure. Patients can come in, they get a mini lipo aspirate procedure, which means that we numb just below the skin and we remove a small sample of fat. The patient stays awake during the whole procedure. Um, takes us about 30 minutes to isolate the cells of interest and then we can deliver those right back to the same patient. So it's all in the same treatment? Yes. Yeah, so and then at the same the first, time? The first you know, treatment is all done right there, about two hours in clinic. Now the second thing that we can do, and these are some newer protocols that we've been pioneering, is take an additional sample of fat tissue and then send that to a laboratory. We can culture expand the cells and get additional doses mm -hmm. so that you can use them for future treatments should you need extra treatment in the thing you were trying to treat or mm -hmm. for other things. Maybe you just want to do general anti anti-aging and do an IV of stem cells and allow those cells to systemically bring down inflammation. Because mm -hmm. I, I guess that's the way to go because you end up with more stem cells. But one could say like why has the body not got it right? Like if my knee really needs repairing and I've got these beautiful stem cells sitting in my fat gut, mm -hmm. why aren't they going there anyway? They are. And so the body really does have it right. The stem cells are naturally going to these areas of injury. So all we're doing is tapping into this technology that exists and just giving a little tweak up, turning mm -hmm. the volume up just a little bit to allow a little bit more healing where you need it especially. And the other issue is that as we age, uh, we have less stem cells circulating. And so we're just kind of giving a little assistance to the body for its natural healing process. Mm -hmm. Cool. So we d we're helping it do what it's going to do anyway. That's right. This yeah. technology exists inside you. All you have to do is harness it and tap into it. Yeah. Th you know, that's what I love about most of the anti-aging and longevity and gosh, just living better treatments is that we're taking our cues from nature anyway. Absolutely. And I think that this is an opportunity for patients to address the entire regenerative medicine picture and start thinking about your body on a cellular level. And everything that you introduce into your body can be effect affecting the cells and the stem cells that exist inside your body. So if you detoxify your life, get rid of any toxins from your diet, toxins from your environment, you can really optimize your cellular health. Then mm -hmm. combine that with these stem cell therapies, you have a wonderful opportunity to live longer and healthier. Oh, cool. And if you have you noticed a change in people's attitude to stem cells? Absolutely. Probably about five years ago, I had to beg people to listen to me about stem cells. Mm. Now they're banging down the doors. I think you're seeing a lot of famous athletes or uh, famous actors talking about regenerative medicine and stem cell treatment or platelet-rich plasma, mm. and it's becoming more mainstream. It's becoming more accepted. Um, and we've really pioneered so many different indications. We can use stem cells in so many diseases because these cells can help to repair damaged tissue, which is really the root issue in any disease. Yeah, and so I remember uh, maybe 20 years ago when I first heard about like banking stem cells and things like that, and, uh, and I was like, oh my God, that's just so weird, and what would you even do with them? And But I have a six-year-old and a three-year-old, and we banked the stem cells from their umbilical cords. I was just like, why wouldn't you? Sure. But if someone hasn't done that, have they missed the boat? Yeah, no, what, what you want to do is bank your stem cells on, as an adult. You have stem cells that exist inside your fat tissue, and you can lock in the youth of your stem cells today. So um, You'll never be as young as you are today. You'll never be <laughs> as young as you are today um, unless you start dosing with stem cells, then maybe you're getting younger. Yeah. But absolutely, you have an opportunity to do that right now. You didn't miss the boat if you didn't do it when you were a baby. Mm -hmm. And so 
What sort of, what things in particular? You know, quite often people will get a condition or a disease or something and go into a traditional GP or Western medicine and then five years later when they're actually more and more ill, wish they hadn't mm -hmm. have begun that path. What things in particular would you say just come straight? Yeah, I mean, I wish that we could see a lot of these patients earlier on. Oftentimes the patients that present to us are later stage in their disease because it's not necessarily the first thing that a patient considers. Mm -hmm. I would say the most common indication that we treat in the clinic is orthopedics. Mm -hmm. um, patients with arthritis, osteoarthritis, or patients with injuries, tendons, ligaments, um, and we can repair those. There's no need to cut tissue out. We can repair the tissue. Probably the next most common is going to be lung disease. Uh, we do a lot of patients with a disease called COPD, uh, and mm -hmm. we can get those patients off of oxygen, um, get their exercise capacity up. And we also do a lot of neurological conditions. So this is mm -hmm. anything from Parkinson's to MS to spinal cord injuries to brain injuries. Um, and really anything systemic, autoimmune diseases, uh, we can help to reset your immune system by using the stem cells to bring down the inflammation in your system. And uh, I think there's probably a lot more diseases that we haven't even thought of yet that mm. could be um, applied, stem cells could be applied to. Yeah, and let me ask you a really silly question. So in like autoimmune diseases, mm -hmm. your body is, it's just doing the wrong thing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. If you take the stem cells out and put them back in, are those stem cells not still obliged to do the wrong thing because they've got it wrong? Yeah, so what's happening is it's actually more your white blood cells that are misbehaving. Um, they're over inflaming and they've kind of gone wacko and your system is just creating nonstop inflammation and inflammation tends to create more inflammation. Mm -hmm. Naturally, the cells that are responsible for quieting down the white blood cells are your stem cells. Mm -hmm. So for an autoimmune type disease where you have an over inflamed body, this is the perfect indication and we see some miraculous results with our autoimmune cases. Wow, that's cool. And then I was just listening to you on stage saying that you're, you're injecting yourself with stem cells as a preventative. That's right, yeah. So I started dosing myself probably about five years ago. Um, I do regular IV therapy every six to 12 months. I'll do mm. an IV of stem cells just to bring down inflammation and um, hopefully live longer. Mm. I've also done injections in my knees, in my shoulder, and most recently I've done an injection in the vaginal wall uh, mm. as a mother. I was so excited when yeah. she said this. I haven't been on a trampoline in six years. Oh yes, you pee your pants as a mother yeah. of two, they're teenagers now, um, you know, for years I peed my pants and I didn't want to do jumping jacks or yeah. anytime I felt a sneeze coming on, I was getting nervous, yeah. um, but not anymore. I don't pee my pants anymore. Um, but also by placing the stem cells into the vagina, you can help to improve the blood supply. So this means better lubrication and stronger orgasms because you have more blood going there. And this applies for both men and women. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> well, because it, it always hinders your personality. Yes. When you want to jump up and down and you go, oh, when did I last pee? I can't jump up right. and down. No, it's true. So it's, so it's really interesting that you can do so many different things with stem cells. Now, you don't have knee problems or shoulder problems or anything like that. And I guess the big message here is, don't wait until you have a yeah, problem. So if I went to the gym and I just felt a little tweak on my knee and I was having a little bit of pain, that next day I'm doing a stem cell injection. I'm not gonna wait until I have bone on bone. I wanna keep my cartilage intact and healthy for the long haul. I wanna be able to do hard workouts for as long as possible. Yeah, cool. And more people are shifting towards that Preventive. thought. Yeah. 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 I think we were always trained traditionally that you go to the see the doctor when something's wrong. Right. And then regenerative medicine comes along and you go, oh, you go and see them when something's wrong now. Yes. Yeah. So it's just a shift that is happening. Yeah, tap into your healing potential. You've got the opportunity right now to get some of these therapies that are going on. Um, and the field is growing. It's, it's expanding. We're really going to mm. change the way we treat so many different diseases. Mm. I, I love the information you're giving us. Now about you. What's the most exciting thing that you're working on at the moment? Uh, so yeah, I love treating patients. That's uh, really the most rewarding thing. So when we have a patient that comes into us who has lost hope, who uh, traditional medicine has failed them, and we can convert them to a happy, healthy, contributing part of society, this is, this is why I do this every single day. I love it. Um, and it, you know, it helps, helps me be happy, and it's great to see other people be happy. Cool. Keep on changing lives. We love you. Kristen is awesome and um, as you can probably tell, a little bit friendly and really open and intelligent. So if you have any questions, please contact her, Kristen Kamala, and um, I know that she will help you out and see you right. Thank you so much for Thank talking you. to us. Yeah.